But maybe, just maybe, Canyon County is doing a little backpedaling here on this too. Their press release on Friday did say several times the five locations were for Election Day as well, but they, they say they, now those Election Day plans are a work in progress. They plan to announce those Election Day voting locations, as I said, on Friday, and typically they have about 55. We're going to see how many they end up with, but this whole thing, what they said on Friday, boils down to a lack of poll workers. Canyon County Clerk Chris Yamamoto said Friday, we frankly don't have enough experienced poll workers to open locations in all 64 precincts. So this was our best option to help ensure a smooth voting process both on Election Day and during the early voting period. So is it voter suppression or more of a lack of civic duty on our part? Well, poll workers are essential to elections in America and Ada County, by the way, has had an overwhelming response to getting poll workers to volunteer. In Idaho, though, you even get paid to be a poll worker. But for one Canyon County family I met during the 2016 election, money had nothing to do with it, but rather ensuring every Idahoan had the opportunity to vote. If your polling place is the Lakeshore Drive Baptist Church in Nampa, are you registered? You've likely run into Joan Pancari. What you got, Monica? Who's worked the past 23 years in Canyon County's Precinct 27. Okay, thank you. And you've also probably been checked in. And if I could just see your ID again. By Joan's daughter, Cindy Squires and her husband Dave. That's three poll workers, one family. We have a, a family that is really interested in making sure people get the opportunity to vote. But the Pancary clan covers more than just one precinct. PH or B. About 10 miles to the north, you'll find Jolyn Dykus, the senior judge for precinct 16. Brenda, I'm taking 17. And okay. she's Joan's granddaughter. But Jolyn has surrounded herself here with family too. So I have my husband yeah. and then my nephew. Okay. And then my sister-in-law and my niece is sitting up at the front desk. And that's about all the time she has to talk. Okay, thank you. So if you're keeping track, that's two precincts, eight parts of the Pancari family. Four miles to the west is the polling place for precinct 15, under the direction of Dixie Parker. And you can go ahead and start filling it out and you can take it with you when you go. Yep, you guessed it. She also has Pancari pedigree. That's correct. She is Joan's daughter, JoLynn's mother, and, by the way, McKenna Ireland's grandmother, a first-time Pancary poll worker. Pretty cool, huh? Totally. And if you ask Dixie, she started this whole election lineage herself. I couldn't work one time, and I had my mom fill in for me, and that kind of started her working. And then I needed somebody, and I talked my daughter into it. <laughs> and then I needed somebody again, and I talked her daughter into it. So it just kind of grew. So the final tally, 10 family members, four generations, three precincts, and one big responsibility. We believe in the United States of America and making a difference. Brian Holmes, Idaho's News Channel 7. All right, we did reach out to Canyon County Elections Office today to see if any members of the Pancary family will be working the polls again in November. And yes, a few of them will be. Sadly, the matriarch, Joan, has passed away, but there will be a Squires on location as well as a Parker helping people vote this November. That's nearly a 30-year legacy in Canyon County elections for the polling Pancaries.